Hello, this is Demetrius Rock, the Director of Safety and Risk Management for the City of Columbia, along with Ms. Watika Smith, our Safety Compliance Manager. Today, we will be talking about how to properly wear your cloth mask or any other type of mask and the recommendations by the new CDC guidelines and due to the fact that the virus has now has a various variants that have had an impact on the community and also to within the United States. The CDC guideline is recommending or uh, they are suggesting that you should wear a double mask and we will be illustrating some various ways that you should properly wear a mask whereas from a cloth mask to surgical mask, surgical mask to surgical mask, or the gaiter on top of the KN95 and then the KN95 you can actually wear it by itself because of the tight fit and the secureness on your face and it provides protection just as of uh, the other two. So we will begin with Ms. Watika Smith wearing and illustrating how to wear the cloth mask over the surgical mask and she will start by using the City of Columbia uh, resilient cloth mask over the surgical mask. You can put the surgical mask making sure it covers the whole bridge of your nose uh, making sure it's, it's pressed down and secure as she's demonstrating and this is the surgical mask. Then after you put that surgical mask on, you uh, apply the cloth mask as suggested by the CDC where you'll put the cloth mask over the top of the surgical mask, making sure that it's pushed down the, the metal piece bridge that's located there is pressed down on top of the surgical mask and just make sure that it, it fits nice and secure. She will also use the same method again by applying the surgical mask over the top of her face and covering her face, pushing the metal piece to the bridge down and looping it over her ears. And as you see again, she's making sure she secure the bridge of the nose and place that cloth mask over the top of the surgical mask. You can also, recommended by the CDC, you can wear two surgical masks, one surgical mask over the top of another, especially for those who uh, the, the cloth mask might be a little warm and a little hot. So you can also wear two surgical masks. If you put one surgical mask over and place the other one over the top. Next, so we're going to demonstrate how to wear the KN95 uh, with the gator going over the top. You place the KN95, making sure you press down the bridge of your nose so you get that tight fit. And then you pull it tight and secure. Then you will pull your gaiter up where it covers over the KN95 and around your ears, giving you that secure fit. Now, you don't necessarily have to wear the gaiter over the KN95, but a lot of employees have been used to wearing the gaiter by themselves. The KN95 is, is just as good by itself as recommended by CDC. The KN95 and the N95 are, more, are your more top level uh, PPE per, uh, usage and providers, and it is more worn by the uh, healthcare and first responders. We want to make sure that all our employees are wearing these masks properly, especially when you're talking about uh, using two masks. It is very important that you do everything you can to uh, protect yourself. Wear your mask as recommended by the CDC, even though we do have a vaccine that's being distributed and utilized within the community and across the United States. We're still in a pandemic crisis. You still need to wear your mask. So I want to thank you all for um, being able to uh, witness this uh, instructional videos. Mask up. But remember, safety starts with an S, but it begins with you. Thank you.